There's good evidence that when there's you know, 50 to 60 per cent of people wearing face coverings or masks, it makes a dramatic effect of reducing the spread of COVID-19. There's three types of basic face coverings or masks. The first type that I'll talk about are the cloth masks, like a bandana or some sort of scarf is not an adequate face covering or face mask. The cloth mask should have three layers. The inner two layers are cotton and absorbent of moisture and the outer layer should be what we call hydrophobic or resistant to moisture. The second type to talk about is uh, the surgical mask or these disposable masks. They're good for sort of day-to-day -day use, but they are disposable. So the recommendations are that they're used for two to six hours. Maybe you could use them for the whole day. The third type of mask is the P2 or N95 respirator mask, which are mainly for use by healthcare professionals. Having said that, if you're caring for someone who's a, a very vulnerable person or you're going into a higher risk situation, then I think it's a reasonable thing to wear if you have them, but there is a limited supply and so I would restrict the use of those masks to those particular situations. So if you're deciding to use cloth masks, which are a really good idea, it's best to buy maybe three, you know, minimum of cloth masks because the recommendation is that you wear them for a day, uh, but take them off earlier if they become soiled or wet. So you'll need a, always need a spare one. So if you have three, then you can sort of go out every day with two and then wash them um, at the end of the day. Now the washing side is important because as we know, the virus um, has a uh, lipid layer and um, it doesn't like detergent. So you always got to make sure you wash, wash the mask in detergent so it's all soapy and bubbly and that'll get rid of any virus that might have happened to land on the surface of the mask. The time to wear a mask is basically when you feel you cannot maintain the 1.5 metres of physical distancing, no matter where you are. The second important place is in sort of an indoor environment where you can predict it will be difficult, like public transport. I think you should always wear a mask on public transport. When you're in a supermarket, when you're in a crowded shopping centre, an entertainment venue, place of worship, uh, a gymnasium. Thirdly, if you're looking after or you know, living with someone or visiting someone who's vulnerable. Fourthly, if you're working uh, in a uh, retail sort of sector, cafes, bars, restaurants, shops, when you're contacting a lot of people. And of course, if you're unwell and you have to go somewhere, go to get tested, go to get checked. And if you're home or living in shared accommodation, you should wear a mask if you're unwell. When you're wearing the mask, that's only part of the solution. So it's really important to remember the other things about stopping the spread of COVID-19. And that most important thing is keeping your distance from people, trying to keep 1.5 metres away from people, especially when you're indoors, making sure you practise good hand hygiene. And remember um, to cough into your elbow, sneeze into your elbow, or if you're using a tissue, discard of the tissue. And most importantly, try not to touch your mask. Because remember, if you've been near someone who's got no symptoms and you've breathed in their droplets, but they've stopped, been stopped by the mask, they'll be on the surface of your mask. Finally, one of the most important things to remember about uh, wearing a mask is that if you get sick or you have any sort of symptoms, wearing a mask is not enough. You need to go and get tested. Whilst there are treatments for COVID-19, there's no cure for this disease. So it's really important to maintain all those COVID safe behaviours that we've been talking about. So when you wear a mask, remember you're helping all of us. You're helping keep UNSW COVID safe.